Okay, here we have a vulnerability from a collection of vulnerabilities that was collectively named Black Swan. Of course, a Black Swan event is supposed to refer to something that's extremely rare and uncommon, but this is just one of many Microsoft bugs. So this was quite a misnomer. So Microsoft has a technology called ALPC, Advanced Local Procedure Calls, and this is a mechanism for communicating from user space to user space, user space to kernel space, or kernel space to kernel space. So this would be an example of user space to user space. This would be an example of user space to kernel space, and this is kernel to kernel. Of course, when you have this sort of communication, a programmer should be thinking of it as if there are attack surface lines between these two things. So whichever side is receiving the ALPC message, it should treat the other side as distrusted. So unlike the original LPC technology, ALPC is asynchronous to improve performance through parallelism. And another performance improvement is using shared memory, a shared resource, to reduce the data copy frequency. So we have this situation. We're going to be looking at an example pertaining to communications via ALPC from user space to kernel space, where there's a specific option that can be set to say, hey, I want to use a shared page of memory that will allow you to just write stuff in there and have it immediately available for me down in user space. So for this example, the original researcher helpfully allowed us to look at some basic pseudocode. It's of course heavily simplified, but it's much nicer to read than raw pseudocode. So go take a look at this pseudocode and see if you can find the flaw for this, the race conditions section. And just as an extra little hint, here's how I want you to think about what's going on with this code. So we have completion list data, that's this completion list data, and it is going to be pointing somewhere outside of the shared page. And then there's going to be an addition of completion buffer offset, and so when that is added, then you get this user mapped message. And so somewhere inside the shared page, user mapped message is going to be pointing, and then, you know, this is how you should visualize the situation once you read the rest of the code.